What's going on everyone? I hope you're having an awesome day so far, and welcome back to another episode of Chuck's Customs. So we are extremely close to finally getting Bessie back on the road with her new 5-speed transmission. There's just three things that we have to do first. We gotta install the drive shaft, put the front clip back together, and the one thing that I've been dreading the most, and that is installing the clutch pedal. So I think the hardest of those three things is going to be installing the clutch pedal and the master cylinder and the slave cylinder and all that. So let's go ahead and just get that out of the way and start with that. Now as you can see, splayed before you is all the ingredients you would need for a manual conversion. The clutch pedal actually came out of a late 80s F250, I wanna say. I found it in a junkyard. Now, the clutch master cylinder and the slave cylinder I actually got from Rock Auto, and it comes exactly like this. It's got all the fluid in it, it's pre-bled, 100% ready to go in the truck. Now, the reason I've been dreading this is because there's really no room for it in here. <laughs> uh, however, I noticed that this little block right here has no wires in it at all. So I'm thinking we can go ahead and just take the bolts out of it, kick that out, and now we have a nice hole for our push rod to go through. And we just got to drill the bolt holes and get it in there. So let's go ahead and give it a shout. sure what these were originally for but uh, they aren't anymore I'll say that much okay so the bottom bolt on the master cylinder actually lines right up with that hole when I put this in it's just that now this bracket is in the way so we're gonna have to cut this bracket back a little bit put this in place, we're in business. If I didn't know any better, I'd almost say that's meant to be in there like that. Just gotta find somewhere to put this, but I think you could probably tuck it up in there for now and that'll be fine. All right, let's start doing what we need to do to get that pedal under the dash. Okay, so it's gonna be really hard to show you guys this, but well, maybe not that bad. That's about right where I want the clutch pedal. I think that's a comfortable spot for it. It's not too close to the brake, but some space between it and the door. So I'm happy with it there. Uh, however, if you look up here, we got the top of the pedal right there, but the push rod is over there. So I'm thinking if we take that little jog out of it, flip it around and have it so it comes up this way, on flip it like that I think that would be perfect so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right schmear flip it around and see what we got I've 
done better, but I've also done worse. That'll work though. Let's see how she fits. All right, so we got our position down there that we want. Look at that. I mean, this thing's drooping, but it'll lift up. Fits right in there. Heck yeah, man. So I'm actually gonna drill a hole through this pedal uh, and tap the thick side. That way I can just put a bolt right through there. And that'll be good to go. And then we'll figure out some kind of mounting bracket for the top. Let's get to it. I know that mount is super sketchy, but check it out. We've got a clutch. So right now it's super awkward trying to work in here. I've got the welder pretty much stretched to its breaking point just to get in here at this angle. Uh, I can't open this door because my workbench is right in the way. It's just awkward trying to work in here like this. So. That's gonna work good enough for me for now. Uh, in the meantime, let's get the front of the truck put on. Let's get the drive shaft in. That way we can pull Bessie out into the driveway and properly finish that off.
All right, everyone, I'd like to take a quick moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, Milwaukee Tools. Now, Milwaukee makes a great product for any project. What are you doing? Might be... I'm doing the sponsorship thing, man. Milwaukee is not a sponsor of this show. Are you serious? What are you, dreaming? I'd like to take a quick moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, Craftsman Tools. Now, Craftsman, Craftsman isn't a sponsor product. either. Any project. Yeah. So who's our sponsor then? Look, dude, this, this show has no sponsors. You mean to tell me we don't have any sponsors at all? No, we don't have any. Huh. Where's your, uh... Where's your hat, by the way? Oh, yeah, I lost it. Oh, I got you. Well, let's get back to the video. Oh my God, she looks absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I can't believe that this moment is actually here. I've been waiting almost a year to replace this transmission and finally be able to drive Bessie down the road again. Almost at two months shy of a year. And now it's time to see if she'll move under her own power. I'm kind of scared, but excited. So, only one way to find out. Let's get to it. the camera so you can actually like see it pull out of the garage but yeah My God, will you look at how beautiful my baby is, please? My God, I, I, it's like almost impossible to contain my excitement right now. I just want to drive it so bad, but I still want to fix that clutch pedal before I bring it anywhere close to putting it on the road. So it's getting kind of dark for that right now. The sun will be completely down in like 10 minutes here. Uh, so I'm gonna come back at this tomorrow and I'll see you in a few seconds. Alrighty, it's now officially the next day. Bessie is looking as ready to go as ever. I got the new hood on, check that out. Picked it up for 50 bucks online when I was on vacation. Uh, I threw it on there real quick though. I still have a lot of adjustments to do. I just didn't want the dew to settle on the engine overnight because I only polished those fuel lines and I don't know what water would do if it sat on them for too long. And I didn't want to come out the next morning after it had been sitting outside for one night and find a bunch of rust on the engine. So I just kind of threw the hood on real quick. But yeah, let's go ahead, finish off that clutch pedal and then take her on a test drive. Let's get to it.
Now that is 1,000% better. Oh yeah. Check that out. So, I'm gonna finish up those welds because it's mostly tacked in place. I'd like to add a little bit of bracing from side to side just to stiffen it up a little bit, give it some extra support. So, I'm gonna do that and then I'll see you in a few seconds when it's ready to test drive. You know, do you ever just feel like the entire universe is just completely against you accomplishing one goal? Because that's how I feel as far as this test drive goes. I have been trying to get good test drive footage for like three days of this truck. Uh, my tripod is broken, so I'm gonna have to just kind of set the phone in there and I know the footage is gonna suck. It's gonna be all shaky and I'm only gonna be able to film it at one angle. And, and then it seems like every time I get the opportunity to drive it, it's either dark or like right now, it's all rainy and crummy out. But you know what? I'm gonna suck it up because a little bit of water never hurt anyone. Let's test drive this truck. I love this truck. The NV4500 is everything I had ever dreamed it would be. It's nice, it, it reacts super well, it doesn't grind gears at all, it's super smooth, the clutch works perfect. All I can say is, that's a job well done. I, I couldn't be happier with how it came out. It's kind of funny because I honestly thought that it would have some traction issues if the roads were too wet. And starting out, it got perfect traction. There was no issue there at all. It was actually once the turbo started to spool that it would break the tires loose like halfway through the gear. Even in like third and fourth gear. That was impressive to me. I cannot wait to start souping this baby up. But for now, I think that's pretty much all we're gonna have time for in this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. And if you did, make sure you show that thumbs up button some love. If you didn't like what you saw, or you have questions, or suggestions, or concerns, or you just think my hair is stupid, let me know in the comments section. I'd love to hear from you guys. 
And as always, if you want to see what we're getting into in the next episode, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. So, thank you again everyone so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time on another episode of Chuck's Customs.